Hello, y'all. I'm back. It's now 6.49 a.m. in the morning. <clears throat> so, um... It's a doggone miracle <clears throat> that I was finally able to get me some sleep. Um, hold up. I guess some rapid eye movement, deep sleep last night. Like, I think I, yeah, I th it could have been a, about 11 o'clock that I went to sleep. <clears throat> and then I was asleep, I guess. I don't know if my sleep was spotty or consistent, but I was able to get me some sleep until that motherfucker ran by <clears throat> with the dog on, um, <clears throat> with the, he ran by with the, um, <clears throat> you know, with that wheel, fake wheelchair. And of course I did a video about it and I was all upset. I didn't even get to go back to sleep until like 4.30, <clears throat> um, between 4.30 and 5 o'clock. <clears throat> and so I, I was able to get me some sleep. And then now I still have a headache. Like, I feel like, um, like stress and strain on my brain, you know? Like, I can tell that with the sleep deprivation, I, I, like my brain, like that, that police officer, um, in the Ford Escape. So, um... <clears throat> my brain feels like it lacks oxygen, you know, so, um, my brain feels like it lacks oxygen, so, I mean, yeah, yesterday, last night, I came home with nothing for myself, <clears throat> and plus, I had to end up owing money, <clears throat> so, um, I don't, I mean, I don't know how I will feel later on this afternoon or this evening, you know, but I mean, the fact that, as I said, the fact that the gang stalkers, that they're doing certain covert things to try to hinder you is, um, you know. But <sighs> so the um fact that they try to do things to hinder you and stuff like that, you know. So uh, I mean, it's like that wasn't necessary, like. An hour and a half or more sleep I could have got if he wouldn't have, if he wouldn't have done that to me, you know. And I missed the whole night of sleep the night before last because with those old fake ass O'Reilly's perps, what they did, you know, harassing me unprovoked. And then you know, they. They're out forty five. I mean, as I said, that lady lied and said that um that the bus that we didn't miss the bus but she somewhat knew I guess but um but it's like the other bus was supposed to have waited for us you know it was supposed to have waited for us and this lady was 10 minutes late or something and so I mean I thought that I was going to get to get to work in time. So, I mean, I had to, um, it took me a whole hour to regroup, um, without having lunch. And then I, the most I was able to afford was a kitty meal. And so, you know, I started getting sleepy because of lack of sleep from the night before bastards that's why I say like senseless harassment just to keep me awake for no reason and even if nobody harasses me 
you know, if I like the even the, the night before last, I thought that I was guaranteed. I felt like I was guaranteed. I thought I knew I was going to get so sweet because I was hardcore tired, like burned tired. And so um, I was that tired. And um, me, like, breathing hard, sleeping hard, but whatever direct the energy weapons that they hit you with the, to prevent you from getting into deep sleep and dreaming, you know, having deep sleep and having dreams. So it's like this morning, I'm feeling, um, I'm feeling lack of oxygen to both my brain and heart. And as of now, I can't go to sleep. They say it's just under 70 degrees, but if it, I feel like kind of frosty. <laughs> I feel like a little bit frost, like it's a little bit frosty out here. Mildly, very mildly frosty, but it's a little bit cold for me. But yesterday was, the night before last was colder. <clears throat> so I don't know if it was just a cold front or, you know, the weather, I mean, that's part of the reason why, I, um, I mean, it was so many different factors, so many different reasons why I couldn't sleep the night before last, you know, the cold weather and O'Reilly's people, I mean, O'Reilly's perps doing what they did and me itching because of that homeless perp from Whataburger and then they had another lady I got into it with for um bumping into me too and it's like why is everybody doggone rude everywhere you know so um why is everybody rude everywhere so I was supposed to go this morning to go and take a shower. But um, after what happened with, I mean, so I have to take a longer route. That's going to be more time wasting. And if I have to wait another hour, then the bus I need to take it um won't come for another hour after that because the the second bus it runs every two hours instead of every hour and this one run every hour and that the bus driver I had the altercation with yesterday I don't even know if she, she will be on there um I don't even know if she'll be on there you know and so that's like the quickest direct connection but then the that first bus, you know, it'll be very crowded before I even get on there, you know, and have nerve to have the small green buses when you know that route has a lot of people. But that bus service is all kinds of corrupt. I mean, I have footage of bus drivers passing by with one headlight or strange headlights or one headlight brighter than the other or bus 633 exactly has messed up taillights and, and they drive okay like that, you know, and they ain't burned out. They use it to gang stalk. 33 is Masonic. And they love to gang stalk with the number 33, sometimes 22 and, you know, occult numbers. So, some people think that every gang stalker is a Freemason. Other people say that uh, call all the gang stalkers um, a Satanist. Some of them call every gang stalker a witch. Some of them think they just, some of them call gang stalkers demons. Um, say that they're not human. Well, why they have every right to sue us every time we expose them? Like they want to talk about, oh, oh, well, you shouldn't be 
you know, chasing after people's license plates and stuff. No, targeted individuals, the TI community, when we expose a perp, we try to get a footage of their, come on, man. See, they're doing this on purpose. We try to get footage of their face or their license plate or something like that, you know. So, um, I was hoping to, I mean, I, I'm trying to not quit so soon with, with this job, you know. I would hate to go home. I mean, I don't have a home. But come back with little to, I mean, with little to no money, you know, again tonight. I mean, I'm hoping that I will feel well enough to get to go out there and work. Um, I'm hoping I can get to go out there and work and, you know, It's like it seemed like around seven thirty or eight o'clock for the past few days I've been starting to get really sleepy and tired. You know. And then they, they say that the most business is more like evening and nighttime. So I want to try to um you know, I want to try to do my best. I mean, I'm sitting here trying to survive, but at the same time, you know, the gang stalkers, they stop everything, you know, I mean, as I said, I just barely have, I think I got $4.40 in the bank left over and only $3 in cash. That's just enough to get an a la carte item at a restaurant, like just freaking, just enough for a bowl of grits. I mean, I'm hoping I can get a nap or some more sleep today. You know, oh fucking, um, I don't know, it's freaking um. Lies and gnats trying to get inside my ear. And I was like, I feel like I want to gain more independence. I mean, I always wanted to be independent, you know, but I guess the narcissistic gang stalking network. Um, they want things to be like as if they want me in a constantly in a position where everybody has authority over me and I have to be forced to be needy and dependent needy and dependent you know now I gotta be forced on government assistance and um you know <laughs> They, they want me forced on government assistance rather than making my own money. You know, um, so they want me forced on government assistance and living off of Section Eight and getting food stamps, and which I can't get. You know. Rather than me having a high paying enough job to sustain myself and be self sufficient, they don't come on, man. They don't want that, you know. So, um, I'm wishing, I mean, if this don't work out, then I mean, the online perps. See this fake ass helicopter. I don't know if y'all can see that. The fake he- he- gang stalking helicopter flying right over me. Excuse me. 
right when I was about to talk about my writings and stuff, you know, the game stalkers want to make sure that they want me to be considered discouraged from my writings and stuff, you know, that, and, and they want, they think it's their duty and their job to force me to conform to society and and, com- and the Bible says to be not conformed to this world, but they think it's their duty to force me to conform to to society's rules and laws and try to police my mental health and stuff. It's, it's not their duty to do that. They just need to back off and mind their business, you know? So let me try to go for now.